Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video I'm going to talk about iOS 15 update so as you can see from the screenshot that I had taken so iOS 15 update came in about 3.12 gigabyte on my iPhone 12 so yes this is an iPhone 12 I have been using my iPhone 12 for last one and a half months and today I have received iOS 15 official update so in this video I'm going to talk about the update size and few of the update changes and very important features I know there are a lot many changes and a lot many features this video won't be long enough to you know cover all the changes but I will try to make a separate video wherein I would be explaining all the important features of iOS 15 and it's not new I have been using iOS 15 already on my iPhone 10R which is right over there but this is the iPhone 12 and today I have received the official iOS 15 stable update which globally released and if you're not able to see the update let me go to the settings and let me show you what you can do you can go to the general and go to the software updates and make sure you go to this automatic updates make sure you turn this off and turn this back on and again check for the updates definitely you would be able to see iOS 15 update so this iOS 15 is available for all official iOS 14 supported device starting from iPhone 6s to all the newer iPhones so if you are having any iPhone which runs on iOS 14 definitely your device will be updated to iOS 15 now in this video we're going to talk a lot about the changes and features so let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys now with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section. So as you can see, if I tap on the software version, it says the iOS version is 15 and the new build number is 19A346. And also with iOS 15, we also got a new modem firmware with iPhone 12. As you can see, the new modem firmware is 2.09.10. Now before updating I had taken a screenshot wherein you could see the details before updating the software version was iOS 14.8 and the build number was 18H17. Now the older modem firmware version was 1.80.02. Now it has been sort of updated to 2.09.10. Then again before updating the available free space was 31.46 GB. Now after updating it has sort of decreased I mean the available space is 30.69 GB. So that's regarding the update size and update details also I've told you how you can update if you are not able to see the updates automatically go to the general and abouts and check for the software update manually. Now let me talk about the few new features because this video won't be too long but then again let me talk about the few important changes if I you know tap here on the home screen now if you tap here earlier you would be able to you know sort of these things were available on iOS 14 as well but now if you want you can you know kind of arrange the home pages here and there so that option is now available now if you talk about the most important change and my favorite change this has to be the weather application so as you can see there is a new screen pop-up I've just updated my device so every application I open there are new screen pop-ups here and there let me click on continue before that as you can see it says weather maps notification and new design overall so iOS 15 weather application is something that I really liked and I have been appreciating the weather application on iOS 15 for a very long time now let me click on this continue so as you can see right now it's raining in my city now if you swipe right as you can see there are different cities and also it gives you a sort of weather overview what is the situation right there as you can see it's raining right now and if you come down as you can see you get to see the air quality and apart from that you get to see the many changes which were not available on iOS 14 so starting from the sunrise time and rainfall humidity and how does it feels like the visibility pressure every information is very much available on a greater detail on iOS 15 so I like the weather application of iOS 15 very much if you have updated to iOS 15 definitely try out the weather application it is actually great so compared to iOS 15 it gives you a lot lot many more features now talking about one more thing let me click on this clock option and let me click on this alarm 
I mean earlier if you have been using the alarms option on iOS 14 this was sort of irritating and I mean if you had alarm set up if you could just try to click on it it won't go to the alarm option you need to click on edit and then you need to sort of edit the alarms but with iOS 15 the clock has been modified now it's not the case you can tap on the any existing alarm setup that you had before let me for example click on this and if you want you can change the timing through the scroll wheel earlier it was you know kind of a boxy design but i did not like that much but now it's a welcoming change and of course you know ios 15 brings a lot lot many features probably more than 300 plus features so i will try to make a separate video on that now talking about the visibility settings if i go to the settings itself you can see the settings icon and everything has been kind of updated if you closely look at the settings layout it has been updated a little now rather than kind of rectangular boxy design we have the kind of rectangular shape wherein we have a circular edges and things have been categorized so i had taken a screenshot as well let me see if i can find that so as you can see from here with ios 14 the settings was looking like this so it was kind of a edge to edge boxy design but with ios 15 as you can see things have been categorized in a much precise way and it is not a boxy and edgy design it is kind of a circular edge design which i like very much also the notifications i can have been updated now one of the main thing that comes with ios 15 is the spatial audio so if you have an airpods pro as you can see i have my airpods pro over here so now let me show you if i go to the settings now if i go to this accessibility and if i click on airpods since it is connected to my iphone 12 as you can see under audio accessibility settings this patio audio head tracking option is available now it is right now available for both audio and video content it uh, also you can turn it on for video content and also you can turn it off so this is a special thing that comes with ios 15 definitely you can go and check out my older videos of ios 15 i have explained all these features so these are few features and apart from that you know the maps icon has sort of been updated so as you can see whenever i open the new application it gives me a sort of screen pop-up so as you can see if i you know tap on the maps it has sort of been updated and i, I like the new icon and everything so as you can see the overall the things have been updated pretty much one thing which i forgot to mention and i should have been talking about this on the early stage in the video that is the notification overall so now the notification has sort of been you know a massively updated as you can see the notification looks bigger if you have been using ios 14 as you can see compared to ios 14 the notification the icon looks little bigger and also the notification have been categorized in a much better way now as you can see all these mails and all these uh, notifications if i swipe left as you can see i do have the option to clear the notification and also if i click on this option i can snooze the notification or i can mute the notification for an entire day or one hour or i can directly go to the settings and that will allow me to you know turn on or turn off the notification for that particular application so the notification things have been changed and it has been categorized in a much simpler way and also now from the lock screen itself let me show you so as you can see this is the lock screen now if i swipe down from here you can access the spotlight search so i kind of like this this is how the update has been working for me i have just got the update few hours back and i was pretty much excited to use ios 15 and right now it is finally here so then again that's it for this video i don't want to extend this video too long i just wanted to give you the update that i have already received ios 15 on my iphone 12 and as i said before all the devices which are running on ios 15 are eligible for ios 15 update if you haven't checked go to the settings go to the software update and you should be able to see ios 15 then again this was a quick video about ios 15 update on my iphone 12 then again if you like the video give this video a thumbs up and it would be a humble request to all of you watching this video do consider subscribing to this channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys now with that being said i will see you on my next video bye